And the title of this video is, um, 100% honest, so there's no clickbait. <laughs> so, I'm back in Canada. My last video was kind of, I don't know, me being upset. And this one is, um, not positive. Kind of a little depressing, but, um... I'm not going to get upset like I did when I was moving. I just want to give a quick update on the situation. Um, because I don't even know that much information, um, right now. Um, but I have cancer. And I was diagnosed with it when I was in, um, Spain with my host family. I'm sorry, the light just went away. <laughs> um, when I was there with my host family, um, I will no longer be au pairing currently. Um, I moved back home because I need to heal myself. I didn't want there to be any burden on my host parents um, trying to take care of me. So, um, and obviously being home with my family is the best thing right now. So, I guess I've known for almost, like, maybe almost a week. Oh, I have lymphoma. And I don't know yet if I have Hodgkin's or non-Hodgkin's. Um, I honestly don't know that much information. I had a biopsy done while I was in Spain, which, from that, they determined I did have cancer. And I had blood work done the day after I had gotten home here in Canada and that we will find out about on Monday when I talk to my doctor. It's a very weird position to be in because obviously being vegan, um, a, a huge part of that lifestyle is the health aspect and the fact that um, most natural <laughs> cancer treatments um, are a vegan diet. They don't call it that, they have other names, but that's what it is. And I've been, I'm a, I'm a healthy person. So I exercise a lot, I eat very clean, um, I don't smoke, I rarely ever drink. Um, maybe a glass of wine here or there, but other than that, <laughs> nothing. Um, yeah, so it's, um, a little bit of a shock. Currently, at this point, decided that I will not be going through with chemotherapy or radiation, um, as of now. They want to start everything as soon as possible, which, of course, that's our, the healthcare's way of um attempting to treat you i though don't believe that chemotherapy or radiation will help me i think it'll only make things worse so i um will be doing a video a little bit later on on how i am planning on treating myself naturally which probably is a scary thought and a lot of people are freaking out like you have cancer you need to <laughs> see a doctor um and on monday which is tomorrow i will be hoping to speak to my doctor about my hopes for treatment for myself i am cleaning out pretty much everything um again i'll have a video on everything i'm doing sort of for treatment but as of now i'm continuing to eat vegan um i'm taking more carbohydrates out so bread and pasta wise um just from what i've been reading that's what i'm doing initially and I am not wearing any makeup or using any products that I know contain, um, chem like, copious amounts of chemicals. Um, I'm going to try to be as natural as I can be right now. So I'll do a video on how I, um, discovered <laughs> the cancer as well. 
um, which will be another video. I just don't want this one to be too long. This is just an update on what's happening. Um, but more or less, this channel will be um, my cancer journey, and I'm hoping I can one day go back to my au pair journey because that's what I was intending. But right now, the au pair thing is on pause. This is my <laughs> journey with lymphoma. I am trying to stay very positive. I think I have been very positive through this whole thing. Um, one of the hardest parts about this whole thing is actually coming back home because um, here where I live, I have lots of family and friends and I love to see them, but it's just not um, a happy place for me. We don't have a lot of sunlight and I, all the years where I've had depression, it's been here. So it's a little bit hard coming back here and then having to be more positive than you've ever been. And I was loving Spain and really looking forward to spending 11 more months there, but I came home early and I mean this is just um, what I've been given in the cards and I'm going to be as positive about it as I possibly can be, but um, coming home is almost the worst part of this right now. This video is already getting too long, I just wanted a quick update, but that's what's happening. Um, and yeah, there will be videos in the future as I get this figured out a little bit more. And you can follow me on my journey with cancer. So, thank you for watching. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and check out my Instagram for updates. Bye!